Hello there and welcome to Great Bit Games. Uh, a new channel for me. And it's not just me on this channel actually, it's... Oh, wait, cutscene. That was underwhelming. Uh, but yeah. I'm wondering, this is... Well, back when this game before the dialogue. This game was made by my best friend. I am not going to embarrass in the slightest, because I have played probably about 90 to 85% in this game. I had some things to say. I'll get to them probably in this video. Enjoy. Yeah. I will consider... I really should consider changing that noise. Good morning, Michael. Morning, Del. Thanks for waking me up. No problem. I'll try not to startle you next time. Well, I better get moving. Who knows what I'll have to end up doing today. Wait. Don't forget to register yourself in the party. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I said I the party. I presume that the end was cut off. Also, also, I'm probably gonna have to. This video is not getting monetized. They might get a copyright strike because this contains some copyright material. Thanks, Michael. I'm gonna have to try and edit that. Edit that out. Yay! Michael isn't all that offensive, but what he does have, but he does have high speed. He usually uses grasp attacks due to his high energy. He's less prone to napping and than his teammates. I'd better get started with practice. Mm. I'd better get started with my practice for the day. Dark chestman cutout emerged. Okay, let's see. Attack uses. Okay, let's see. Attack uses a basic attack. That attack element corresponds to the character using it. Minor grass attacks. Simple as that. Let's try. Simple enough. Nice. Next are specials. These are powerful moves. These powerful moves do more damage as well as other effects. But cost less speed of use, so you can't and cannot be critical hits. I'm just gonna attack. Because I want to, I don't know if I'll be able to heal before. I know these things can attack, but I don't know if I'll be able to heal MSP before the boss fight. Because there is a, I'm probably getting to a boss fight in this video. This video is not very, this game's not very long, so like maybe a couple hours. Shouldn't be that long, hard to let's play. <sighs> Who could that be? Hey Michael, what's up? I am on. Hey, I have some trouble with something. You don't suppose you could make it past the plane, do you? Sure, I'll be there in a minute. But before I go, I just need two more things to remember. Tutorial time! Everybody loves the tutorial! Oh god. You may also notice I did this a lot. That came from a sort of inside joke from a family. Basically, I was making a vlog for one of my old channels. And one of my family members saw it. And then I went, fun times. And ever since then I tried to do it as much as possible. You'll get annoyed of it very quickly, but I'm not I, I will not stop. I'm not stopping even if you do get annoyed by it. I find it funny. It's a family and joke. That brings me to the first point we'll make about this game. The comedy. Yes, the comedy. It's very it's very central based to this group of friends I have. If you've not been part of my friend group, you probably won't get a lot of the stuff. There are some stuff you will get though. Like... If I can find them. This guy. Kenny. One, two, three. Hi Kenny. Whoa. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, that's alright. Nothing like a good jump start to wake you up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go back to my morning early manly jog or manliness. Now, here's the thing. In this game, 
This is set on an island called Scott Island. He is meant to be the man listing there. He is a Keldeo. He has a cutie mark. I think. The, the joke is he's a unicorn and... The joke is he's a unicorn, which is an inherently mostly feminine-esque creature. And cre I don't know. Uh, and it, according to this, he's the man listing there. So... I kind of get... I kinda get what kind of human we're working with here. I kinda get what human we're working with here. I kinda get what sort of human I walk, I walk with. I work with a lot of dry wit and sarcasm. Do you get what I'm saying here? If you don't, leave. Except don't. Please don't. Oh god, I'm going through this again. Please no. Kill me no. Okay. Uh, never careful. There we go. Let me back to the job. Uh, this is one of the main characters. This is Lewis. Hey, Michael. Hey, Lewis, what are you doing? Nothing as much, just preventing you from going places the plot doesn't need you to be. If you'll pardon me, but if you'll pardon the, uh, if you'll pardon the fourth wall breaking. We get him, I, last one we get is James. Before him we get Robert. Before him, we get, I think, Ewan. I think Lewis is the next, is the character before then. I think Lewis is the fifth character we get. Anyway, I've been rambling on for six minutes in this video about this, this game. We're probably not making it to this boss, except we probably will. The get, getting to the first boss is not that hard. You only need to be like level three. Two or three. Literally, only be level two or three to get to the boss. Also, Second thing I'm moving up in this video, the encounter rates. They can be a pain. Most times you won't make it to this chest without encountering one or two enemies. For some reason I was incredibly lucky. I don't know why. You're proving me to be a liar game. Why? No answer, the, the encounter rate in this, specifically this one area, is quite, is a lot for what, well, the encounter rate for this game, early on, uh, it's kind of a pain. Reason being, you typically encounter a lot of enemies. You typically encounter a lot of enemies. You want to encounter enemies to get to that level 2 or 3 mark. But you also don't because you don't get a lot of healing items this in the game. I think in total before the first gym, without spawning, without, like, I think before you beat, before you get to the first... <clears throat> I think before you reach the first boss, without grinding, I think, Dark Chespins for cheese, which is healing it into this game, I think you get like four cheese. Because I only remember getting one cheese from our uh, Dark Chespin, and then the rest I had to find in the chest. You don't get many cheese, you get like four cheese. And it heals like 100, 150 health. And if you look at the starting health, if you look at the starting health, 500 and you get two characters to the end of the game so that's four or five cheese to heal probably like 100 150 health that you get two characters to heal when you get to the final you get to the final sort of boss type section in this game which is the first dark encounter you honestly get crippled if you don't use your cheese right. How much cheese do I have actually? I have no clue. I might get cheese off these guys. I think this battle you can get cheese. Also, notice I'm preserving my SP. Not using specials. When I played for this game the first time. I rarely ever use specials. Because that's how damaging. That's also how damaging. That's also how damaging. Uh, physical attacks can be. Be man I just had my. I think my attack load and my invasiveness roars. But yeah. But yeah, this game is. It's odd. I'll be honest. The. The game is odd. Like. Typical to a Dark Chest will take three to four hits to take down. That's it, like, what, five, six? This thing should be, shouldn't be too hard, but two hits. 
yeah, it hurts. Temple attacks one hit from a physical attack. Your physical attacks are incredibly damaging in this game. I find you don't typically need to use specials. Using specials is not typically needed in this game. I can probably play the entire game without using a single special. Until maybe the last boss fight, which you fight like all the docks at once, which is like seven characters at once. And all the metal characters. It's really ridiculous. The last boss fight. I don't think it's actually the last boss fight, I think there's one more boss fight after that. But the basically the the, the the final dark fight is ridiculously hard. Well not hard, it just takes a long time and you like grind. So I might do grinding montages for this game. Also, I've got what did I forget to do? Cheese, that's it. No, I don't want end game. Cheese. I have one cheese. For my chest. What level am I? I'm gonna quit this battle because I don't. I'm gonna quit this battle for two reasons. Two reasons. One, uh, I want to see. Okay, level two and level one. Okay. Cheese was found. Uh, so I know what level I am. Pachiri Cola. Pachiri Cola, or Patrice Cola, Patrice Type Cola, uh, is basically. The SP healing item. I think you get two of them before you get the first boss. No. I'm gonna fight these Dark Chests. I'm trying to level up Dark Mart trying to level up Martin. And also try and get some cheese. Cause I think you get cheese off these guys. Why you get cheese off a chest cheese off a chestman? I have no idea. And why is that popular about chestman when that's not the shiny colours? When the darks could have very easily been shiny Pokemon? I don't know. This game's actually technically the second game in the series. Uh, because a few years ago, my friend, my best friend made a game, this game. A few years ago, my best friend made this game. And it was a oh, well different this. Don't worry, it still took place in Scott Island. And it was actually took place in like multiple islands. You could raid Lugia. Local things in that game. That I like, that which weren't, that aren't technically in this game. Because you can't raid Lugia in. And... There's also some cool things in this game, like what this game now. Maple. Partner attacks. Where you can get a Mancino, which being either the guinea pig Mancinos or the handsome Mancino, one of which was my actual pet hamster. All of the Mancinos are based on actual uh, hamsters or guinea pigs we might have owned. Let's get to the characters. Let's talk about the first two we've met. Uh, I missed the bio for Martin. I think he's high. I think he's. Well rounded, and he focuses on defensive moves. I am escaping this fight because screw that. Um, but yeah, this game is typically like to us. Look at me. I've skipped most of my boss battle, most of my fights, and I'm at 139 health of what, like 200 odd. I don't want to fight much because I don't want to get too much damage dealt to me. If I get too much damage dealt to me, then I'm going to keep using my cheese. So I need to be very conservative. Because when I first played this. When I first played this. I had Martin die. After fighting Dark Michael. Which is the first Dark Encounter. Typically after a boss battle. You encounter. Um, Dark or Michael. Also my lens and my glasses just fell out. Yay. There we go. I also think I'm being very loud. And I think that's the last cheese we get for the boss. For the boss fight. Four cheese. Because I think the only chest in the next floor is a boss key. And then a cheese. Which is basically a troll faced chest that attacks you. Shimmer. Oh god. I'm going to edit that out. You, you are not seeing that. I am not letting you see me dab. You will hear me say that I dabbed, but you will not see me dab. That is one thing that's certain. This game's going to require a lot of cutting out because of speech errors. I don't speak well. I am bad grammar. That is my catchphrase. I am bad grammar. I am not fighting two shitakutis sh and lethals. Screw that. Also, you'll find a lot of the enemies' names. Don't fit in the name box. You typically find all of the enemies' names are cut off before you get a chance to read them. 
This dungeon isn't very long, it's like two floors and then a boss floor. Okay, I feel like this is going to be the landing because I'm going to get in here. I never wonder. I don't know. Okay, I have four. I have four cheeses. How? Mon's level one, and he's got more sweet health. Pretty much enough to fight the boss. I see. Is this? I'm gonna. I'm gonna use two of my cheese on Michael, and then battle Dark Michael. Hopefully with one or two cheese, so I can heal. Bosky, I said. That's a cheese. We will come to a cheese later on. I think, you know what, if I remember what it is, I'll use the cheese in the second dungeon. Which is the seashore runes? I don't know what it's called, but it's basically like a sea, it's basically like a older man. The boss is a tiki head. Banjo-Kazooie, ladies and gentlemen. Banjo-Kazooie, whatever number, confirmed, ladies and gentlemen. Confirmed. Featuring characters like Michael and Steven. Confirmed. Oh lord. My, my sense of humor is literally like the worst thing ever. I am not good at humor. And when I am good, it's typically dry, sarcastic humor. My, I would, I'd probably say my gimmick in this channel would be, I am sarcastic. I play RPGs and dating sims. Fun times. Also, I'm in bed. Because that's where I record. I've got a desk. But I don't use it. Okay. Rena shoot. The first boss. You'll find... Okay, three things. A couple things you know for the bosses. Instantly high health compared to most other enemies, and it does, if you're using physical attacks, it does take a while. It does. But, typically, you won't need to bother too much. Uh, typically, you won't bother too much, because a lot of times I end up going to the boss fight with health like this, because I, I forget to heal. And I'll just attack. And as you can see, that was. We've done like a good chunk of his health without using specials, and I will not use specials for most of this game. I'll be honest, Michael. If you Michael love it and all that, if you watch it, when when you eventually watch the video after I show it to you finished before I upload it, you're gonna cringe so badly at me not using specials. I'm calling it. You're gonna cringe at me not using specials. You'll be like, why do you not use specials? Because Physical attacks do just as much damage, if not more, sometimes, and they are very good. It just quick, easy damage that you can just mash a button, get the battle over with, and it means you don't need to worry about it so much, and you can just talk more. So this let's going to be mostly let's he's let's put in what like a minute, and he's got less than half health, just about half health. Now I'm going to use a item one thing way, and I'm also going to use a parsley. I don't believe I've gone over what parsley does, but it cures poison. It's the it's the antidote of the series. Okay, I can probably take one more hit before I need to use a potion from each character. Yeah, I'm going to use a potion. Oh, cheese, sorry. So used to play normal, normal like Final Fantasy and stuff. Okay, cheese. Okay. That's the thing, though. Sometimes bosses miss attacks so they take no damage. And it's kind of ridiculous. Because it is... I don't know. I don't like it when games do that. Like, bosses, yeah, missing. But when they take no damage for what seemingly no reason, I don't remember. That just seems... I could just call Bill. Also, a Vive Potion. Interesting. So if Michael dies, I can just revive him. Okay. I believe Venus should just missed out, which is good. We should make it this through this boss battle without too much damage. How much cheese do I have left, I wonder? I believe it's two. 
No, three. No, one, sorry. I'm going to check that, actually. One cheese, two pachuco, and one five portion. You know, I'm going to use specials because I don't want to risk having nothing for... Uh, I don't... They're both poisons as well. Please tell me they don't get poisoned. I don't... I think they stay poisoned after battle. Okay, a couple more physical attack. Okay, my potion's fine. Okay. What I'm going to do is use the cheese on Martin and use keep the revive potion for my opponent to fight uh, keep the revive potion for him if I dart Michael. I may very well have to restart this game. I very may well have might have to cut the section out. But yeah. Introducing the darks, ladies and gentlemen. Alternative counterpart alternate evil counterparts to the main characters unless they're a robot. Everyone must have This video has been going on for 21 minutes. I'm going to cut off before the dark fight and then pick up after the dark fight. Because I think beating the first boss is a fairly good thing to do for the... I think beating the first boss is a fairly cool thing to do for the first episode. Even if the boss fights, like... Takes, like... Oh god, walking damage? Walking damage. This game really punishes you in the beginning. Hmm. Okay. So, I... That's definitely causing damage. Oh god, Martin's at one health. Escape. But yeah, this game... The beginning is crippling. Don't worry. I have known people to beat the beat this first section of the game easily, no problems. Have no problems. Beat this section of the game and like ha walls. It's not actually that because no one was like that. I think. But for people like me, who play RPGs, who do play RPGs. Maybe not, maybe not the best at them, or maybe not that good at conserving items early on. Because you get, you get four cheese. You get four potions. Which heal how much health? I can check. 150 hours late. But yeah, this is not a good time. And here's the first dark battle. I really should use the cheat. I didn't. I thought you could walk a bit beforehand, but no, you have to do it right away, which is kind of terrifying. Definitely using specials in this battle at this point. Okay. First off, cheese, Martin, Martin, special hydro bomb, go. See, that did a fair bit of damage, but not a lot. But if I do attacks, does not a lot too. So it does get kind of bad. Oh, Lord. Come on, monster. Oh, God, that did nothing. Partner attack, come on. Bubble bait, come on. That did decent damage, but I died. See what I'm saying? This game is cruel. With eight items. And anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. I'm gonna try and get back. I'm gonna try and beat, get to Michael and beat him next time. So, see us.